Hothead. Penny Arcade Adventures. Now, three gods wait on the windowsill, where one god's blood was lately spilled, while black tongues lap the spreading pool and build the strength they need to rule. New Arcadia, 1922. Startling developments. Cloying Odor Sanitarium. Hello there and welcome to a new Let's Play of mine. I am the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric, and today we are playing on the Rain Slick Recipes of Darkness Episode 2. I recently played through the first episode, and now this is the sequel, Episode 2. Um, since the first episode was changed, I am using a different microphone, so you might be able to hear my button clicks in the background, which is, I hope it's okay for you. It's okay for me, so it should be okay for you, because I'm the stickler for quality. Not a big fan about those black bars, I hope they disappear. I really do hope they disappear, otherwise I'm gonna have to think of something clever there. And I hate thinking about something clever for black bars. Oh well. Let's start our new game. Do you want to load your character from episode 1? Yes, please. Eric? Load a character. Load. That works? That works. Cool. Yeah, accept that. Please. Please. Last time on the episode... on a, Oh, whatever. <laughs> yes, I remember that all happening. Free fruit. <gasps> oh, look at that man. That does not look like an old farmer. to reach you now. I've tried to contact you for months. You would do well to make yourself available to me. I cannot help you if you will not allow it, you see. And if you will not be helped, you will be destroyed. Oh, not by me, certainly. By the others. Or by one of these two. Is that a hole? Hello, Eric. It's Tycho. Tycho Brahe, Startling Developments Detective Agency. Lovable Brute Gabriel. 
He gestures at the lanky man bear beside him. The man bear waves. We're back on the trail. We're going to find that thing. The one that did all this. With, with a gesture he indicates your diminished uh, station and vastly decreases home, uh, decreased home value. I assume you want in. I will drown the world in my anger. I've actually calmed down a bit. I've got one of those rock garden things now. I rake that motherfucker constantly. Yeah, but you used to kill people with rakes, remember? No? There was rake killing. Look, it seems like you're really busy here, there in those shattered ruins. I bid you a good day. The next day. Listen, we finally got a lead on, our, on your case. A robo... A roboticist, Dr. Jonathan Crazoir, and Claire has found a link between the prototype and your destroyed house. Remember? We used to find prototypes together. It was good times. You should come with us. Oh, yeah, I'm angry again. I'm still quite calm, actually. I was thinking about starting a jam band, you know? Tycho recoils in horror. He scampers back to the truck in animal horror. Terror. The next day. Hey, so you should come with us. We were thinking about going to the fair. Tycho closes his eyes. Then he shakes his head. Then he exhales. We are not going to the goddamn fair. You said we had to pull out the big guns. Tycho turns to face you. We're not going to the fair, but we are going someplace that is just as cool. Oh, all right. No, no, I'm good here. I'm just gonna hang out, I think. Great, hang then, if you like hanging so much. The next day. Oh, fuck. All right, no, we're not going to the fair. We're going to the goddamn lunatic asylum. I don't really want to. They've got this crazy rock guy locked up there for some reason. You were there for us before. You brain people with yard tools. You coiled and then struck like an asp. Gabriel seems confused. Like a butt? You think he struck like a butt? Yes, Gabriel. Like a butt. Alright, I'm ready. No, thanks. Busy day today. You are killing me! Killing me! I am dying as a result. The next day. I don't know about a... I don't know how a butt would even strike though. It's like... Would it? Gabriel's eyes grow wide as grim revelation blooms. Tycho looks to you in desperation. Please come, please come, please, 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 please. Okay, do you ever meditate? I could lead you in some breathing exercises. Yeah, that sounds real awesome. I'm gonna go home right now and meditate my fucking ass off. The next day. Hey, so, me and Gabe were talking. We couldn't remember something. Did you say you were going to come with us? Yeah, we forgot. Sure, alright. That is if you really want to. Yes, I do. Come on then. He extends a hand. Let's save the world. And go to that fear. Gabriel, shut your damned mouth. Tycho Erasmus Brahi, new, new party member, founder of the Startling Developments Detective Agency. Jonathan Gabriel, new party member. Everything was going great. That is until he fought the devil. New case, Steel Vengeance. View the case log in the agency screen for details. 
New memory unlocked and clears. Tycho's brilliant niece, a teen with a keen sense for science. Turn to your companion's map for guidance. Can be found in their startling developments detective agency. I urge you, make haste to Anne Claire's to follow this lead while it remains fresh. Oh, I can just teleport there. No oh, thanks, no thanks. I don't need, I, oh, okay, exit. I don't need to teleport there right now. I can just hack on these. Ouchies, trademark. Heal one, 25% health. These an analgesic pearls, fuck pain up the ass. Heals one party member. I don't like reading half of this out. I have to be honest there. I'm... Ouchies trademark. What's with this engine? God damn it. Oh, it's not just the engine, it's my entire home. You resent this fire hydrant for some reason. Why? Why you resent it so much, Tycho? Why do I have a hole? A, a, a hole? Dr. Hard, Hard has been tinkering with his classic recipe for years. Oh. That's how Little Desperation Street is now. Anne Claire Fourthwing, inventor, genius, teenager. Do we still have these secrets here? An end table, the Greek letter Omega, takes up most of the top. Yeah. We still have them. Collect all 12 delicious pieces. View concept art in the agency screen. I'm not gonna collect all 12 delicious pieces here. Not today, Junior. Not tomorrow. Tectonic brand strength elixir. The Tectonic Corporation is not liable for increased aggro. For all its Victorian tw uh, tween presentation, the room reeks of factory oils. As you enter, a diminutive occupant brightens. Dear Uncle, the heart leaps, child. You are welcome, resp you are a welcome resp respite from the me machinations of a grim universe. Nobody's quite sure what to do with that. You remember, Eric? I'm sure the circumstances of that meeting were unique. Of course, Uncle. Oh, you remember Eric? Yes. The courtesy is charming, if not entirely, if not entirely symmetrical. The ponderous wrench may have thrown it off. Miss Forthwith, uh, and Claire, we must again intrude on your studies. The usual arrangement is in place. We gain access to your invaluable expertise, and in exchange, we will bring you that with your exp which your experiments require. Indeed, and you could have not have come at a better time. I'm working on something substantial. For school, I hope. She does not answer. What do you need? What things specifically? I bet we can find them. Gabriel polishes his nails on his, uh, on his shirt. Yeah, I'm always finding things. She nibbles her lower lip, consulting some elaborate mental file. I just need a few small things. An old engine? Nothing especially modern. Easy. Also, five bolts of silk should be sufficient. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and some. Really, a very small amount of raw energite. Uh, energite. Are we thinking of the same... Dangerous, unstable, incredibly dangerous substance. Only one molecule, uncle. One tiny, beautiful molecule. New case. What a girl wants. View the case lock. I'm looking for a place to live still. Again. Again? Something did happen to the home, yes. 
And everyone is very sorry. Everyone also wishes we could just move on. And clear forth with cocks or head. You and Taiko are related? How? I ask because he basically lives out of his filthy office and you live in an awesome mansion and build robots. Yes, well... She scoots a few of her tools around, stalling. Hi, Keenan. The short version is that my brother, her father, never really liked being a brahi. Unable to shoulder our epic destiny, he left as a young man and built a new life. And Clear eventually discovered the secret, of course. Secrets are to her a kind of delicacy. That was the short version. The long version is considerably longer. You have a lead on that robot? The one that destroyed my house? That is before these two destroyed it a second time. And Clear forthwith nods gravely. And the prototype we found earlier, almost completely scratched out, was the name Quasar. As in Dr. Jonathan Quasar, famous roboticist. She holds up an immaculately preserved copy of Whirligig Whirlig magazine. Whirligig. On the cover a man stands with his hand on a robot you have seen before. The caption reads, Grazor and friends, the Harvest Buddy nears completion. Harvest Buddy, you say? We know them by a different name. Our foe is a murderer and a plagiarist. Plagiarist. And I don't know which is worse. Dr. Grazor is currently being treated at the infamous Cloying Odor Sanitarium. It w I will be very curious to learn why. New map area unlocked. Cloying Odor sem Sanitarium. A dark and twisted place for dark and twisted people with health insurance. So, we need to go to the sanitarium. That's where we'll find this crazy old guy. Hopefully, above ground. Which things did you need again? Ah, no, I, I remember. You seem pretty busy. Never too busy. Never too busy. And clear pats your hand, turning your palm upward to receive a kind of locket. There is no picture inside. There is only a button. Mother of Pearl. Marked with the letters ACF. As before, you may press this button for assistance. Should you require... Young lady, I am concerned as ever that your school marks will suffer. Her laugh is almost elfin in nature. Fear not, uncle. I've put something into place that should eh, streamline the process. And clear support character. A penetrating intellect and cons consummate mechanic. And clear forthwith never met a theorem uh, she didn't like. That's good. That's good to hear. Okay, I'm going to do something about that engine. I th seem to remember there being an engine here. An old engine. What? That's a tr that's a treasure chest. That's not an engine. An engine! A construction item. It's in relatively good condition, all things considered. Ouchies, trademark. How bizarre, a mysterious chest. Open in insane mode. I wonder what's in there. What's in there, though? Alright. Where are we gonna go next? Cloying Odor Sanitarium! Oh, 320 parts, that's a little. That's only very little. The Cloying Odor Sanitarium is a tangle of old secrets. Secrets that bite in the dark. Alright. But before we explore the Cloying Odor Sanitarium, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of uh, Let's Play on the Rain Slick Press a Piece of Darkness, Episode 2. I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye.